is in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Group of researchers in Denmark have invented a pill that replicates all the benefits of vigorous exercise without needing to move. Ozempic? No. It's something different, and it's probably super healthy, I'm sure. No, it's not Ozempic. It's called Lake. It's spelled Lake. Uh, it <laughs> triggers the body to mimic the effects of running six miles. Well... <sighs> So my legs running, are going to hurt? <laughs> well, yeah, like, but running is is healthy. Running isn't necessarily going to, isn't for you to lose weight. But here's the thing. Fit. Can you profit on running? Unless you're running a fun run. Yeah. <laughs> in which case you can. Yeah. Uh, this pill will revolutionize health, they say, for those unable to engage in intense physical activity or those who don't want to. Uh, the pill strengthens the heart, flushes fatty acids from the bloodstream, and releases appetite-suppressing hormones. It also makes you... Uh, a zombie mm -hmm. from the movie I Am Legend. Yeah, very interesting. Thank God, a little too much of these pills lately, man. I don't yeah. know, scary times. Uh, but the, uh, maybe we're just going to find health on our own. Americans turning away from fast food chains like McDonald's, and that has caused a decline in the demand for French fries. America's largest French fry producer, Lamb Weston, never heard of them in my life, but they're no. the largest French fry producer never. in the country. Never heard of it. Closing a production plant in Washington State, laying, laying off nearly 400 employees. They're saying a lot of these like value meals, they don't have medium fries, they have small fries, which means they don't eat as many fries as they typically would. So they're seeing a drastic downturn in mm. the need for French fries. I don't eat nearly as many fries as I used to. I don't either because I try not to, but like I am definitely more of a, um, I'm definitely more of like a, a salty, like I would go for french fries over ice cream yeah, or yeah. french fries over like candy. Same. Like I love carbs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't we all? I love them. Uh, we go to an exercise studio in California. Man, a lot of, uh, a lot of fitness here. Uh, you know, goat yoga, you ever do goat yoga? No. But you've seen it, right? Yes. Goat yoga. Old and busted. Snake yoga. No, thank you. New hotness. The class allows people to perform relaxing yoga while snakes slither up their backs. And all that for 45 minutes for a small cost of $160. The studio co-owner says, some might say our offering is a gimmick like other animal incorporated yoga, but we truly believe in what we offer. No one has ever been bitten. <laughs> Or choked to death? <laughs> Gosh, who is it? Robin Leonard? <laughs> it's his it's his yoga place. <laughs> what a joke. I love a good Robin Leonard joke. <laughs> Very good. Uh, we go to Washington where a woman recently called the police after being surrounded by a hundred hungry raccoons. They were uh, she'd been feeding the raccoons for 35 years without an issue. But it appears as though she hadn't fed them recently and they were PO'd. <laughs> So, They've been fed for generations. Yeah, they. Uh, she flooded the house. She had to seek help. She called, I'm sure, 911, which I'm sure you would roll your eyes at. Uh, but the police connected her with wildlife officials for assistance. Don't eat. Don't feed the wild. This is why they tell you. Man, oh man. We go to Ohio, where a person was recently arrested for giving his nine-year-old son driving lessons. The nine-year-old then ran over his father. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. So not only did he get run over, he was charged with endangering children and traffic violations. And technically, I think the kid should get it. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I for sure drove with my parents, like sat on their lap and drove around. Same. J Patrick would take Jaden out when he was like old enough to like out in the desert to teach him young. But Don't give him the pedals. Yeah. You give him the, the wheel to start. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, uh, I, my dad, that's how my dad taught me. He, we would learn how to drive in the cemetery. Yeah, how funny is that? Can't yeah. kill anyone here. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's all been done. Yep. Uh, finally, we go to Western Australia. Western Australia, they would like you to stop making fun of the elderly. The government there plans to ban terms like boomer and millennium, or millennial, rather, to combat ageism. It's a four hundred thousand dollar education campaign that will raise awareness about ageism's awareness. impact. The uh, government also advises against using terms like "old people's home" to describe where elderly individuals live. To which all people under fifty say, "K, Boomer Karen." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>